Main event time here at Frost Bike 2, Cape Girardeau, Missouri. And it's going to be a dandy. Was originally scheduled to be a three-way dance for the GCW Heavyweight Championship. Although, as we've said earlier, last night in St. Louis, Missouri, in a title defense against Cabal, Chaz Wesson was injured and so was not going to be able to participate in this bout tonight. He, he does not lose the title on that, of course, because he does have... 30 days to defend that title, so uh, this does not necessitate a stripping of the championship. However, he was originally supposed to wrestle Michael Strider and Corey Twist in a three-way bout for the title. What that has been turned into is a four-way number one contenders match. Michael Strider, who you see on his way to the ring, Corey Twist, former heavyweight champion, Dingo, another former heavyweight champion, and Cameron Cage, who is relatively new to the area, but has been very impressive as of late. Any one of those four would be a great opponent for Chaz West. And the winner of this will get that match the next time we are here in Cape Girardeau. So certainly more than a suitable replacement of a match here for our main event. It has potentially one of the better matches of the year, actually. So the fans certainly will be entertained by this one. Michael Strider making his way into the ring. A man with a, a, a regional reputation, certainly outside of the area. And here comes Cameron Cage, the Las Vegas lift. And Cage has been running his mouth about wanting a title shot. Well, here's your opportunity, young man. If you can outlast three of the other great competitors here, you can be wrestling Chaz Wesson the next time we visit lovely Cape Girardeau. Cameron Cage is in the ring. Michael Strider's in the ring. And now Dingo will be making his way to the ring. The smallest competitor in this bout, but as we've said so many times, a young man that will hit you as hard as any 300 pounder out there. So. Believe me, he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody in that ring tonight and has just as good of a chance as anybody of getting that title shot and regaining the GCW Heavyweight Championship, which he recently lost to Chaz Wesson. You know, some of the crowd here in Cape Girardeau loves Dingo. Some of them can't stand him. One thing about him, most people have an opinion about him one way or the other. He's just that type of individual. And the fourth and final participant, Corey Twist, to be making his way to the ring. Former heavyweight champion in his own right. And certainly one of the most popular athletes in all the area. Certainly this match has all sorts of potential to go all over the place. We will try to keep up with the action as best we can. But uh, certainly there will be loads of great action all over this building tonight. This should be an excellent main event. I hope you've gotten your popcorn. I hope you've gotten your ice cold beverage of choice and are ready to sit back and enjoy this one. Corey Twist is in the ring. Dingo's already there. Cameron Cage is already there. And Michael Strider's already there. Let's go, Strider! Bell's gone. Here we go. Four of the top athletes you'll find anywhere in the Midwest and they're all here in Gateway Championship Wrestling. Now Cameron Cage is trying to, uh, I think, 
Spot a little bit of strategy here, divide and conquer. Instead, he goes right after Twist. Strider and Dingo go after each other. And we're off to the races. Whoa, Cage dumped over the top rope. Went for a wild right hand, and Corey Twist dumped him over. Twist is going to go after him on the outside. Meanwhile, Strider has been dumped to the floor, and Dingo sends him right into the apron. Remember, that's a piece of angle iron under that apron there, and there's no give to it whatsoever. That can rearrange your face. And so we're 30 seconds into this match and all the action's already spilled to the outside. Now it's Dingo and Corey Twist who have made their way into the ring. You have to be ready for anything in one of these bouts. You're wrestling one man one second, another man the next. Tying up in the center of the ring now, collar and elbow style. Dingo connects with a forearm, brother, a series of them. You can see Corey Twist head just rock back. Back suplex coming. No, Dingo over the top. Rolling reverse. No, Corey holds on to the ropes. Close line misses. Corey Twist from behind to the floor. Wilson. Hammer lock reversal. Now, twist him around. Whips him in. Reversal by Dingo. Elbow misses. Corey reverses the wrist lock. High power bomb. Count of two. And a double save from Cage and Strider. Cameron Cage goes for the cover, two and a half, as Dingo has been deposited on the outside. And now Cage and Strider are gonna double team a little bit. A few months back, we saw Strider and Cage team up in a tag team bout, and they made a whale of a tag team. I don't know that they'll be uh, teaming a lot during this match, but if they do, it can be very dangerous. High in the air goes Corey Twist. Double suplex, And they have divided and are conquering right now. Dingo's made his way back to the inside, comes after Cage. But Cameron Cage finds his way to the midsection. Stomps away at him. Strider now with a boot of his own. And there's been a, at least a tenuous alliance forged between Cameron Cage and Michael Strider. Dingo body slammed to the center of the ring. Where is Cage going? Cage is on the outside. Saying I want to tag. I don't think you have to tag in this match. Certainly they were a whale of a team the one time they teamed together, but you don't need to, to bother with the formality of it here. So they just go back to double teaming Dingo. Setting him up now, double back suplex him. Oh yeah, right on the back of the head. Just clinically taking Dingo apart. Count of one. Now, Cage wants the glory for himself. Well, there is where the partnership will break down. Both of these men are so glory hungry for themselves that they can't bear to let another man get a pinfall. Here comes Strider with a suicide dive. And he caught Cage on the outside. Both men may have eliminated themselves from this match, at least temporarily. Strider and Cage, the men who 30 seconds ago were best buddies, are firing away at each other. Dingo's on the top rope, and he takes him out. Cross body on the floor. It looks like a car wreck on the outside of that ring. There's just bodies laying everywhere. Corey Twist trying to regain his senses on the other side. Twist now eyeing down the situation as all sorts of chaos goes on on the outside of the ring. What, what is this? Acai Senton to the floor! I guess that's what you call it. Whatever it was, it was unorthodox and effective as he took out all three of the other competitors. But it's Strider that takes Twist now into that apron. Brings him up on the outside. Cage and Dingo still on the floor. Ducks under, forearm from Twist, what is this? Reverse DDT on the apron. 
Well, folks, this is just your typical Saturday night brawl in Cape Girardeau. Chop from Dingo on Cage. All four men on the outside. Cage tossed back to the inside of the ring now. As Twist kicks away at it. Corkscrew elbow. Twist now picking up Cage. High in the air. Body slam. Where's Twist going? All the way to the top. High in the air. Leap of faith. Count of one, count of two, and Michael Strider breaks it up. What is this? Hooks that leg. Oh! Cradle back suplex, and Dingo breaks up the pin. That's a Michael Strider specialty. You could severely hurt a man's neck with that maneuver, but it's Dingo now. Firing away with forearms. Sends Strider in. Running Lariat. A page out of Strider's book. And now Dingo saying, I'm going to fly now. Dingo to the top rope. Moonsault misses. Nobody's home. He went for it all. Nobody was there. Count of one, two, and no. Cage ever the opportunist goes for the cover. But Dingo kicks out. Japanese style waist lock suplex. And now it's Twisting Cage in the corner. Twist to the second rope, pounding away. Dingo trying to get in there now. Thinks better of it. Close line straight on the other side. Monkey flip on Cage. And a stop from Dingo. Now it's Dingo and Twist doing the double teaming a little bit. It goes both ways, gentlemen. Cage now being held on that top rope. While Strider is just whipped in with all that momentum on the other side. And Dingo charges in after him. We're trying to keep up with it as best we can, folks. There's action all over the place here in Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Cage whipped in. And he's in some trouble now. Dingo drops an elbow. What a main event this has turned into. Strider now has Corey Twist locked up on those ropes, chops away at him. Running clothesline takes him over the top to the outside. But Strider hooked his own arm in the ropes. Strider almost put himself in a precarious position with that running clothesline. But that's Michael Strider's style. He will throw all caution to the wind. He'll take a few shots just to deliver one. So it's Strider and Twist on the floor. Both of them hurt. Both of them taking a heck of a tumble on the outside. And so much hanging in the balance here. A number one contendership ranking. A chance to wrestle Chaz Wesson or whomever the GCW heavyweight champion is. The next time we're here in Cape Girardeau, Cage is still on the inside with Dingo. Picks up the man from Melbourne, slams him in the center of the ring. Drops an elbow on him, covers him, count of one, two, and no! Dingo able to kick out with just one leg. Hooks the arm now. What is this suplex coming? No, puts him on the top rope. What has Cage got in mind from here? Firing away, Twist now from behind with a forearm. All three of them jogging, what is this? Twist looks like he's going for an electric chair. Sets up, oh my freaking God! And out of all that, Strider almost got a pin. He went for a sunset flip on Corey Twist, cover two, almost had Dingo. Now he goes for Cameron Cage, one, two, no, cuts him off. An unbelievable series of maneuvers as Strider tried a sunset flip on Corey Twist, who was trying an electric chair. 
on Cameron Cage who was trying a superplex. And all four of them worked. Twist and Strider now pounding away on each other. Whips him in. Flapjack on Strider. And it's Twist that covers him. Count of one, count of two, and no. The exertion and the fatigue has to be setting in now. All four men have gone all out here as Cage has ended up on the floor. Twist now has Dingo set up, but Dingo blocks the uh, suplex attempt. Twist fires away at him. Suplexes him that time. Floats over for the cover, and Strider is instantly there to break up the pin attempt. And it's Strider with those wild right hands on Twist. Uh-oh, revolving door action. Strider is caught in the wrong part of Cape Girardeau. And Michael Strider must think it's tornado season. Hello. Cover, count of one, two. And Twist breaks it up. Michael Strider talking about 15 shots right to the jaw. And now it's Dingo going to the fisticuffs. Winds it up. Oh, roaring elbow. Roaring elbow from Dingo. But it's Cage who'd had some time to recuperate on the floor. Who snatches Dingo from behind. German suplex. He released with it. And Dingo ended up going face first onto the canvas. Meanwhile, Strider's got a chair now. I think that man was born with a chair in his hand. He's trying to do something with that chair. I think he's trying to wedge it between the top and middle turnbuckles. Just what he's got, that demented mind of his has in store for that chair, I have no idea. As Cage, he watches Dingo into it. No, Dingo ducks down. Puts on the brakes for the last second. Drop kick. Takes Cage down to the canvas. Strider and Twist now continue to pound away on the floor. What action in this main event at Frostbite 2. It's a wild brawl on the floor from Twist and Strider. Almost took out our cameraman. Oh! Shot from Strider right to the ribs. This is a generated into a brawl. Dingo joins in now. What is this? Double suplex on the floor! Oh, brother! And all four of these men, I guarantee you, will be feeling this match for a couple of weeks at least. Whoever wins it. Strider saying count everybody out. Or, I'm sorry, it's Cage saying count them out. It doesn't matter how you win this thing, just that you win it. Dingo stumbles back to the inside now. Cage, side saddle position, backbreaker. Sets up the legs, going now for a Texas Cloverleaf. He's got it secured on him. Dingo's right in the center of the ring, a long way from the ropes. Now what's Twist doing? Trump kicks him out of the Texas Cloverleaf. Cage had a pretty good strategy there. Get everybody else on the floor, get one man in the ring, and get him in a submission hole. But he didn't count on Twist coming back to the inside. And now it's Twist securing the legs, and it's Twist with the Texas Cloverleaf. He knew that Cage put some hurting on him with that move earlier. Now he's going to go for it. Needs to have the weight a little bit lower on him, but still it's going to be very effective if he can just sink back a little bit further with his hold. Dingo does not tap out. And so Twist ups to release it and go for a different type of offense. Meanwhile, Strider comes back in with that unorthodox chop to the back. Strider spiral! And that may do it, too, but a running drop kick from Dingo, a sliding drop kick, breaks up the pin attempt. What is this? Hooks a leg. Dingo, driver. Cover.
Roberson, Cab 1, Cab 2, no! Strider just able to get a shoulder up. And we now have got to be, I've not been looking at the clock, but we've got to be at least, what, 15 minutes into this, maybe 20. And all of these men are physically spent, but continue to go at it. Dingo with a series of shots to Corey Twist. Wrist locks him over now. Reverse uh, top key lock there and a drop kick. Dingo can hit you from so many angles, but even he is fatigued at this point. And it's Strider now who drop kicks Cage to the floor, now kicks Twist to the floor. There's one left in the ring. I think he's going to try and put away Dingo and win this match. He's pointing at him saying, I got you now. It's boiled down to one on one. Chops and forearms being traded here. Neither man backing down, both men, ah, oh, both men connecting, but Strider goes right to the eyes. And that chair is still set up. I'd forgotten all about that chair. It's still set up in the corner. What is this? Strider hooks him. Is this going to be a superplex? Dingo fires away. Desperate enough to be caught in the superplex. Now Dingo's got the chair. Oh, ho, 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 boy. And we're, uh-oh. Dingo's on the top rope. Chair salt. I think he caught him in the face with his knee, and Dingo got him. Dingo wins the match with a chair salt. Outlasting Corey Twist, Cameron Cage, and Michael Strider. It will be Dingo and Chaz Wesson or whomever the GCW heavyweight champion is the next time we make our way to Cape Girardeau, Missouri. But what a main event for Frostbite 2. What an entire card it has been. And Dingo gets the victory in one of the most hard-fought contention matches that we've had in a long, long time here.